All right, there's our next episode of True Wrestling Fans Discussions, continuing our retro pay-per-view review series. This is going to be WrestleMania 15. I'm your host, Mike. I'm Frank, man. Great. We're back doing the WrestleManias. Let's do it. <clears throat> March 28, 1999, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hard place to hold a WrestleMania, especially this time in, in the era of wrestling, with Philly being pretty much ECW territory. Um, what, what's funny is they actually generated o- almost one and a half million dollars in ticket sales, and the buy rate was eight hundred thousand for this pay per view. Um, now this yeah, now, now. Mo- by now that you know by now they're destroying um oh they're killing them yeah, yeah. they're destroying WCW at this point an average of about a six point oh rating on Raw and if if Nitro is lucky it's a three point seven mm-hmm. I mean and I mean some of the matches on here. Questionable, main event phenomenal. Let's get to it. You had Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler doing the commentating on this one. JR came in for the main event, um, and Michael Cole tagged out. So the opening match was for the Hardcore Championship. You had um, Billy Gunn. For whatever reason, now the New Age Outlaws are not split up. They're just doing singles titles run at this point, which didn't make any sense to me. Yeah, Billy Gunn defending the Hardcore title against Hardcore Holly and Al Snow. And their Hardcore division compared to WCW was great. I mean, this was just uh, the, the way they executed it was awesome. We had seen previously Al Snow and, and Hardcore Holly fight into the Mississippi River for the inaugural title. I mean, it just anytime you had a Hardcore match, you were in for a treat. And this one was, was, uh, was no different. This was a pretty good match. Um, unfortunately, the title does change hands. Billy Gunn hits the Famouser on Al Snow on the chair. Hardcore Holly comes over, hits Billy Gunn with the chair, pins Al Snow, and Hardcore Holly is now the hardcore champion. So congratulations to him. Now, right after this match, this is what didn't make any sense to me. They showed the ending of the tag team battle royal they did on Free For All. It wasn't even a tag team battle royal. It was whoever the last two guys that were in the ring, okay, you guys are going to get a tag team title shot. And you know what's funny? You know who was in that battle royal? Legion of Doom. Yeah, no, I remember that. That was the, I believe that yeah. was their last I appearance. think, yeah, yeah. And, but yeah, it's, so, it's, yeah. it's D'Lo Brown and Test. What the hell are we doing here? This is what didn't make any sense that night. So now they've got a tag title shot against Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett. And that, that and match Jeff was actually Jarrett next. Broke 6,000 guitars, never drew a dime. And he's teaming with the Human Road sign. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. They were a good tag team together. No, they were. They were. But, but I'm sure there were tag teams on this roster that could have had this match that we didn't need to do this. Yeah, but this is, you know, the tag team division doesn't really – Take, I don't know what's going on at this point. Like, what's going on with the the Hardys and you know I mean, the, the, they're, they're Christian, all there. Christian and Edge. Yeah, I mean, the Dudley Boys haven't Dudley's, shown up yet. Dudley this soon. Yeah. yeah, it gets better. Um, you, you still had um, the Godwins, sort of. They oh, were having. Oh, a, they were oh, transitioning to oh, Southern Lord Justice Jesus. eventually. Oh, Actually, no, I'm sorry. They already did that. When did they oh. join the ministry, or is this after the ministry? This um, Midian was now oh, Midian right. was now at the at the point of the ministry. So okay, yeah, okay, bye bye okay, Godwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who you know? The only thing I remember about they him kidnapped was when them, they, right? They kidnapped, they kidnapped him. everybody. They kidnapped Viscera or Mabel when he returned. Farouk and Bradshaw, and then all of a sudden they were put together, oh, man. and we got a great tag team out of that. I mean, uh, the only thing I you know about Midian I remember is was Naked Midian, which was like okay, at this point you got to end this. And this was right before you had the corporation and the ministry combined. This is now they're actually the corporate, fighting against each other. Yeah, the corporate ministry. The higher power. Yeah. Love that. The ending was garbage. I don't want to get into a tangent. That was trash. Like, the corporate um, ministry was awesome. But yeah. The, but the ending of it was, was hot garbage. Usually is. Me, Austin. It was me all along. Jesus. Jesus. You know it had to be him. You know they originally wanted Christopher Daniels to do that. I read it was Jake the Snake. They well, I'm yeah. sure they had multiple ones, but I remember they had they had Christopher Daniels on the list and he turned it down, the dude from Impact. And I don't think it would have worked with him. Yeah. Jake the Snake? That really wouldn't have worked. Really wouldn't have worked. I mean, as a 
I don't know. He didn't have to wrestle. He could have just been, you know, the mastermind. He had a history with with. No, then he, well, he guy kind of did have a history with with Austin because of the Austin three sixteen. Yeah, you and know? then he had a history with the Undertaker. Yeah, but then you know, go we'll, well. Just, we'll just push that to the side. All right, well, yeah. anyway, all right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> In any events, we actually had a match here that went four minutes, a whole four minutes. Dilo Brown went for his finisher on Jarrett. Owen drop kicked from the top rope. Jarrett rolled him up for the Dilo for the pin, and they get the victory and they keep the tag team titles. And what's funny is Jacqueline and Tori come down. And D'Lo and Tess get into a fight. Ivory is getting into it with them. Deborah's just looking at all Jared and I want to get the hell out of yeah, here. Deborah's half naked out there. Gotta love it. The puppies, man. All, yeah. all about the puppies. <clears throat> so our, our next match, you could have gone and got a refresh on your drink. Got a, went to the bathroom because that's how long that would have, this would have taken. They had the brawl for all. Um, yeah, I... Mm. Special guest referee for this was Vinny Pazienza. The Tasmanian yeah. double. Yep. You had the referees down there. And the one thing that really it bothered me because I see it was Gorilla Monsoon was down there. But you yeah. see what Gorilla looked like at this point. It was nice to see him though, but I know what you're saying. You see you see how sick he is. Yeah. And it wasn't too long after this, I believe, that he had passed. You know, got you know, rest in peace. He he was one of the greatest. But yeah, it, it was nice to see him actually take yeah. uh, a role in this. But I mean, man, he looked to be what about 140 pounds. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, um, this whole thing was a result of the brawl for all. You know, Bart Gunn had won. Um, I don't know why they put Bart Gunn in this situation though. It was such a bad, bad, bad idea fighting somebody like Butterbean in a shoot. For those and they didn't, they didn't learn real. from when Butterbean fought Mark Merrow. No, but that was, they that did was their boxing. That was stage. I know, but... that wasn't real. This was this was real, and so to put a put a guy like Bart Gunn with no boxing experience in there, I don't care if he was knocking out other wrestlers, and he had that left hand. You're setting this guy up to get seriously, seriously hurt. And I, I'm and, surprised and... he didn't with those shots. You see that one where his head just whipped around. I mean, my God, you're lucky he got up. Yeah, so he wins the brawl for all, and his reward is Butterbean. In 35 seconds. Yeah, a Russell, a, a WrestleMania, yeah, WrestleMania nightmare for him. Oh, sad. That was a bad knock. His, you could see when he get his head spin, his head does that, it snaps. Yeah, and he doesn't, he can't even brace for a fall. He like hits the rope and goes, like and he's lucky his neck didn't have yeah, further damage yeah, on that. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad, and it ruined his career. It ruined his career going forward. This didn't. What right, did he do for his done. career? It was over. It was, you know? it was done. But I didn't like. I didn't like this at all because I thought Bark Bark on. You watch interviews with him. He seems like a, a fairly decent person. You know, mm-hmm. so that was, that was just wrong. And then you're putting him in there against the guy that's, you know, legit. Act, that's a licensed boxer. You know, legit. That, that was wrong. That was wrong. If it was if it was staged like the Merrill one, it probably would have been better. But this was just a straight this up This was Russo. Match. This was Russo. I mean, Vince Vince has the final say, so he could have said no. But it was Russo. But he, but he agreed with Russo. Yeah. But, uh, I think. The, I know the brawl for all was Russo's idea. I'm, I shouldn't say that this was Russo's idea, this... The butterbean thing, because I don't know that for sure. All I know is started with Russo, and this guy authorized that it was a shoot match. Was Vince was the one. So anyway, I don't know. the The only real entertaining part of this match was afterwards when the San Diego Chicken comes out. What was that about? Him. I don't know. Well, we see we'd see the chicken again later on. Yeah. But you know, he's messing with Pazienza. Pazienza knocks him out. That's that's one of uh, a few celebrities that were there. Remember, we had Boys to Men kick it off. Yeah. Uh, they were America from, the beautiful. They were from, from Philly, yes. Yeah. Isaac Hayes was sitting ringside. You had Big Pun in uh, in there because they were all at the uh, WrestleMania party. The party the night before, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Ponzi ends and knocks out the chicken. Thank God we're done with this. Now our next match had some implications on the main event. The winner of this match would be the special guest referee. For the main event, it was Mankind versus Big Show, and uh, they showed Big Show and Mankind fighting backstage earlier in the night because Big Show was waiting for Austin to show up. Kevin Kelly, you know, then interviewed Mankind, and they said, you know, as the brawls uh, going on, Austin showed up. And I remember oh, the week before this, they had the Big Show or Paul White versus Austin match, and I absolutely loved it. And it's a shame that they did that before WrestleMania because I thought they could have do- did that on a pay per view because that's one of the matches you see a du- guy like uh, the Giant coming over from WCW 
certain matches you want to see that to me that was one of them yeah he came in he was pretty out of shape when he came in though so he worked little, his, yeah you could tell he worked he worked his way uh into shape um they kept calling him paul white the big show and event, eventually at some point they just say big show yeah but for whatever reason they were saying but, oh, for the most part in the beginning was paul white paul white and, uh, it was, uh, at saint valentine's day massacre they said uh king that's paul white yeah i'm like no, that's a giant. It's the giant, yeah. Oh, he's like, nope, show. that's Austin going to WrestleMania because Paul White screwed up. And that would be a, a common thing for Paul White because in this match, it's funny. They, they're beating the crap out of each other. No, he but that was intentional. But the, 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 him, the, that was intentional at St. Valentine's Day Massacre. That wasn't a, that wasn't a box. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> that, that was the way to get him to WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but if you look at it, it's like, oh, uh, in Vince's eyes, that's a Paul White screw-up for the corporation. Right, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. Because now the biggest screw-up would be right now. Now he hits Mankind on, on the outside with a chair. Referee says, I'm going to let it go. Okay. No problem. Puts two chairs in the ring. Mankind barely hits the chairs. Yeah. He disqualifies Paul White. Mankind's going on to WrestleMania to main event to, uh, as a referee. Now, naturally, they do the whole story, you know, shtick where he's on the stretcher and whatnot. What's funny is Vince comes out. I love this segment. You know, they got him mic'd up and he's getting mad at Paul White. Now, damn it, you can't make any more mistakes now. If you're a nobody and he smacks him. And it freaking gets knocked out by uh, Big Sean. Like, night, no, night. but first, no, but first he goes like he's gonna choke slam him. Yeah, and he stops. And he stops. And, and he goes, Vince, "Damn it, no more mistakes now." And he keeps berating him. Kind of like it reminded me of Heenan Andre at WrestleMania Six when, when he was chastising him. Pretty much. And but this one was better. And Damn. Of course, if you if you land in the uh, arrest in the in the wrestlers that got arrested club, you're gonna make it here. Yeah, that kind of looked ridiculous. That car was so small, and he just got in there. And... One thing Paul White really couldn't do back then, he was trying he was trying to act like it was still NWO when he's cracking wise, yeah. getting in. You know, you get you guys, you monkey some badges, and you got some stroke. I'm like, dude, you're not in the you're NWO. Not, you're, not, you're, not, Kevin, you're not Nash. You're not Kevin, Nash. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say you're not Kevin yeah, Nash. You're not Kevin Nash. The thing with Mankind is interesting because the, the, Russo wanted this to be a triple threat match for the title. He wanted Mankind in the main event. That would have been awesome too. The Rock. But I but I understand the thinking, and I, I would I would agree with Vince this time. That's I like straight up. Yeah, I like a match that's straight up. And Rock and Austin had such a great feud up until that point with everything that had happened prior. Um, but that was the original idea, at least from Vince Russo's side. The only thing that made it cheesy to me was the fact that Rock had originally won the title in November. Four months later, you're a three-time champion. Yeah, that That's good, what that I didn't good. understand, why they kept going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Now, granted, the night Mankind won it on Raw, dude, yeah. and thank you, Tony Schiavone, for making me change the channel, was the one of the I best nights knew. on Raw ever. I already knew. I had, I had already read online that um he was going to win the title. Yeah, because by now, American Online, is you can mm-hmm. we can get the information from there. But this, this was one of the best nights, but I just... It took away from him from being uh, the championship because again, you you just won it and you're already three time going into face Austin and we know you're going to lose it here. Yeah, pretty so much. I, I don't know. Yeah. I just I don't I don't think the title should have changed that many times. No, no, I agree. So our next match on the on the card was for the Intercontinental Championship, a four corners elimination match. It was Road Dog defending the title against Goldust. Shamrock and Val Venus with Ryan Shamrock and Blue Meanie at ringside for Goldust. And this was Ryan Shamrock making her way around managing everybody. Like she's the new uh, uh, Sonny all of a sudden. If somebody pretty, loses, they get rid of her and she goes on to the next one. Pretty much. I mean, and the fact that Blue Meanie was there, I can't stand this guy. Yeah. I, I, I was never a fan. I'd watch the ECW. So I couldn't. I don't understand. What Heyman saw in him, he couldn't wrestle. He he was just a buffoon to me. Especially he as Goldust old. as Goldust's little sidekick. I mean, it was just uh ridiculous. But in any event, Shamrock and Val Venus were the first two to go out. It was a double count out. They're beating the crap out of each other going down the the rampway. Um and what's funny is Ryan Shamrock, once again. She grabs Goldust's foot by accident. Um, he got he uh, body slammed. Uh, Road Dog rolled up Goldust for the pin. Gold uh, Road Dog keeps the Intercontinental Championship. Goldust is irate and pretty much kicks it to the curb. 
And then we got to see another blue mini gold dust moment. Mm-hmm. I, uh, no, yeah. I didn't. I didn't mind the match, but just the whole Ryan Shamrock thing to me, I just felt was was cheesy. It was pointless. And yeah. then of course you got that big melted ice cream thing out there with him. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. So following this, they showed what led up to the next match, which was uh, Triple H versus Kane. Kane with the fireball to China. Uh, Triple H dressed it up as gold dust, hitting with him with a flamethrower. Now, don't ask me how I know this. I re- the, the night that I remember I, had, I was working for Blockbuster, I had just gotten promoted to assistant manager, and they were moving me to Coney Island Avenue, which was fine. I was supposed to start the next day. This is Monday now. I'm supposed to start. Tuesday, I'm, I'm supposed to close. Now, it's January 25th, 1999. I'm watching Monday Night Raw. Right as they call me to tell me, oh, by the way, you're opening tomorrow. You need to come in and get the keys tonight. I watched China turn on Triple H. I, I don't ask me how I remember all of this. I just did because I'm, wa- I'm trying to listen to them and I'm watching this and I'm like, fuck, excuse me. Oh, not you. And so, yeah, yeah China, China, China turning on DX kind of. I didn't like it. Like I saw, I, I, I sensed that the breakup for DX was coming and it, they were on a good run and I didn't want it to end. So, you know, Kane comes down to the ring. They play in DX's music, Triple H nowhere to be found. He comes in from the other way and he's just laying out Kane. Now who knew, who would know that this would be another big feud going forward. Right. And one of the, one of, one of the worst feuds of all time with Katie Vick. Oh my God. So. That was just, yeah. So. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, so the match itself wasn't bad. You know, Kane was the powerhouse in this one. Triple H isn't bulked up yet, but, you know, give him about five months, he'd be the WWE champion. So I liked when when, uh, China came down and you're like, oh, she's going to cost him the match. Mm -hmm. She gets the chair. Uh, She tells him, no, I want to do it. Now, every time you hear somebody say, I want to do it, you're getting whacked. Bad business. And she hits Kane with the with the chair. Kane wins the match by disqualification. Yep. She hugs. She gets into the arms of Triple, Triple H. H. The yep. whole place going nuts. It's, it. it's like Macho thinking, Man and Macho Man and Elizabeth back together. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking though that DX, DX has united. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little did we know that this was Kane being thrown out of the corporation mm-hmm. and Triple H being added to it. We would yeah. find this out later. Yeah. But the whole place erupting as they're hugging each other. Um. They even uh, they did the interview uh, later on where they interviewed DX with the they said the family was back together. So at the moment, mm-hmm. things are good. At the moment. So following this match, Kevin Kelly uh, was doing an interview on who would be the referee in the main event. He interviewed Shane, uh, Vince McMahon, and of course Vince was like, "I just happened to have you know my gear in my bag. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be the referee." And I'm like, "Oh shit." What 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 the hell are we doing? Here? But that segment is even better. We'll get to that in a little bit. Our next match could have been on Monday Night Raw for the WWE Women's Championship. Sable, who's turned heel and nobody knows it yet, versus Tori, who nobody gives a damn about. And I don't know what that outfit was that she was wearing, but I don't know if she was trying to dress as a cat or what the hell she was doing. But this girl did not wrestle. Well, neither could Sable. No, it's not. It's not Sable's fault because Sable never wanted to be a wrestler. She never wanted to be a wrestler. She didn't like being in the ring. She never wanted to be a wrestler. And they just because she was so over, she was so popular. They're like, ah, the hell with it. You got to wrestle now. And Mark Merrill was upset about that, and Sable was upset about that. So I don't blame either one of them. No, because this ruined Merrill's career. On top of oh, that's first and foremost. The, besides the fact that they made him a boxer. Your your wife is now getting way over more than you, and nobody, well, now it, nobody but cares I'm saying, about she's you. Not a wrestler. She's not. A, she's not a wrestler. And she was like taking these bumps and stuff. She wasn't she training. A couple, she could do a couple of moves, yeah, but, but she wasn't. She wasn't. A wrestler. She wasn't Lita or Trish. She wasn't even Jackie for that matter. Oh Lord, or Ivory. They could actually wrestle. Ivory, I mean, but I mean, this match was just. I mean, and, and what makes it even worse is here comes Nicole Bass, the Howard Stern show. Yeah. You know, she comes in. She uh, attacks Tori. Sable's over there smiling or whatever. I'm waiting for Nicole Bass to lay her out. And Bass was coming over from ECW, right? She was in yeah, ECW. she was also um, a I know she was on Stern. Stern. That I know, but I know she was But in yeah, ECW. she was in ECW. 
So Nicole Bass attacks her. Sable does her, her Sable bomb like it's needed with the pin. I don't even think she needed Nicole Bass to interfere in this. I think you just roll up the girl and one, two, three, and you got the pin. Because yeah, she Tor- um... Tori just sucked in the ring. And they kept her around as this whole Nicole gimmick Bass. came. Yeah, Nicole Bass sucked too. She couldn't wrestle. Nope. And then they put her with Val Venus. Yeah. She gets she she doesn't last very long too. And then she sues um she sues WBF. A yeah. couple of months, I think she was. Like I mentioned before, the next segment was Kevin Kelly interviewed DX because now they're getting ready for the next match, yep. which is for the European Championship. Uh, Shane McMahon defending the title against in X Punk or X Pac. Shane O'Mac. And uh, it's funny because Briscoe and Parison tried jumping X Pac prior to this. That did that didn't go over. They had the you know you know you saw the Mean Street Posse was sitting ringside. That was great. Yeah, I always loved the Mean Street Posse, man. You know that one dude was stoned out of his mind. Probably. Uh, um, it wasn't Pete Gas. I think it was uh, Rodney, the blonde headed kid. Because when they show him, he's like, Ugh. yeah, he was having a good. He time. was out of it. Oh yeah, he was really having a good time of it. Guy didn't know where he was. Because even when he when uh, I think X Pac got thrown over, he's just looking at him like, hey. he was, boy, he was out of it. Mean Street Posse was just was funny, they but were, they were yeah. they were there to get an ass whooping. What made it even yeah. worse is when Bulldog came back, and then he's running with the Mean Street Posse. That yeah. I didn't know what they were doing. But um, this this match was good to see X Pac. You want to see X Pac kick Shane's ass? That was the whole thing. Now. Uh, during the match, Triple H comes down, and they're evening up the. the you think they're yeah. evening up the 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 odds. He comes into the ring. He pedigrees X Pac. Shane gets the pin. Now the Outlaws come down, and they got a beat down. And Kane came out to to because now he's pissed off. And I remember Road Dog said, "Yo, he done. He's he's out." I'm like, "No shit, dude." I think he said that for all of us. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but to me, this was so stupid. This 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 double swerve is yeah. unnecessary. This is Russo stuff too. Russo loves these swerves. That was dumb. We everyone DX was back together. Everything was fine. Oh, let's have another swerve. That was just dumb. It didn't and now work. DX is without its leader, and eventually right. it falls apart because the whole King of the Ring now gets based around DX. Um, and then eventually they ha- they even have the match that you know, for the merchandise. And then they wind up getting back together. Um, by the time they reunited DX, it was just pure trash. It just wasn't the same as the original. Tori, so, that's, that's when Tori's in there, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Forgotten DX number. So our next, uh, right before the next match, they show the video package for The Undertaker versus The Big Boss Man, how Taker's showing up to Vince's house, the, the, the teddy bear on fire. Oh, my God. I love Ministry the, Taker, the, man. It was so I did, over the top. I did. It was so over the top. But I love Ministry Undertaker. My, my favorite segment was the night that he tried to do the unholy wedding to to, to Stephanie, and yeah. Austin actually came down to help her. And, yeah, he saved her. And he's hugging her, and he's just like, "Yeah, uh, uh, get off me." Yeah. But uh, the sacrifice of, of Boss Man, the, this whole thing was awesome. This yeah. was the Undertaker. It was crazy. Event. It was. It was, this was crazy. great. He was sadistic. It was crazy. Yeah. And unfortunately, because the injury had him come out, is the reason why it ended so abruptly. Because I mean, the last one of the last things he did before he went out, he was a tag champion with Big Show. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, the, this whole thing now with the Ministry is feuding with the corporation. So we get the Hell in the Cell match, mm-hmm. Undertaker versus Boss Man. Two heels in this match, but people were cheering for the Undertaker. Yeah. You have to. He's he's just he's he's the Undertaker. And this match was just great. I mean, Boss Man didn't make it great. He sucked. Taker. Because it's Taker and Hell in a Cell. You don't need much more. Yeah. Um, he gets the t- obviously gets the tombstone and the pin. Now, this is where it got really weird that I don't even know how the hell they pulled this off. The brood come down like they're Sting. Yeah. From on the Raptors. Of, on top of the cage. On top of yeah. the Hell in a Cell. Edge, Christian, and Gangrel. You know, they're, they're, they're cutting the, uh, they're trying the cell. To get in. Yeah, they're trying to get from the top. Good. And, and then they feed the noose through the top of the cell and then all of a sudden they they disconnect and then up they go they Bye-bye. rigged themselves back up but edge got stuck yes he did i saw and the camera was on him. yeah and the camera still was on see, he's, he's still swinging there the he's other swinging guys the other guys are, guys are going up and they rigged themselves to go back up 
Because you know it's professionals that are rigging them to come down. But then yeah. they rigged themselves. I'm like, that's dangerous, man. It really was. Especially that high up. Yeah. But what what's even more dangerous here is he puts the noose on the big boss, man. And as the cell and everything's being raised, he's being hung. How yeah. the hell? They killed him. They killed the boy. But how did know. they not? That's what well, I want to know. Because well, he had because it was rigged through the, the he was being held up through the back. Okay. I was always wondering because I never could find out because there had to be like that, a harness or something though. It had to be because that yeah. was one secret they never leaked out on the internet. Because um, I'm watching this live and I'm going, oh my god, they just no, but, literally but, killed a man. But Philly PD is gonna be there. But what doesn't make sense is they killed him. Like they killed him storyline wise, and the next night he was on Raw. Exactly. They actually hung some that 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 I don't know who came think, up with this. How I they got know. away with it? Probably a Russo thing. It had to have been. It had to have been. This this has his name all over it. But Vince is signing off on this. And then Big Boss Man walks out the next night yeah. like nothing happened. Yeah. So so but but I mean as far as anybody knew, he killed him. As you're watching this, you're like, you killed he killed him, right? He killed him. Whenever you see Boss again, yeah, he hung him. He killed him. As if his contract was up either that or he's gonna come back. Yeah, either that he's gonna come back as like a zombie or something. Oh Jesus. Thank God we didn't do that. Uh, oh, no, this was yeah, bad. No, that bites, was bad, dude. Then he bites him, we get other zombies. Yeah, that wasn't good. That was that was that was that was no no no. I, I mean I know it was uh the ministry sending a message to Vince, which didn't make any sense because then in a couple of months they're all gonna unite anyway. So it, it didn't that didn't make any sense as much as watching Triple H and The Rock stand out there in the corporation the next night together. Oh, and that I'm was... like not nah, I'm like, nah, this ain't happening. That was, that was weird to see, right? It yeah. really was. Yeah. Almost as weird as Austin and Vince. Yeah. Because you got two guys that are pure yeah. 100%. But it, it didn't last long. It didn't last long because the like, Rock turned uh, baby face. Yeah. Right after the rematch right after mm-hmm. for the Smoking Skull belt, he turned, he turned yeah. fan favorite. So now we're on to the main event. This was This is the first of three great matches at WrestleMania these guys are going to have. And yes, I'll say 19 was great, even though Austin shouldn't have been in the yeah. match because of what he was going through. But uh, it was an emotional night that night, especially for The Rock when he when he had talked to him after the match was over. But these guys put it all out there for three WrestleManias, and this is the first one. The Rock defending the title against Stone Cold Steve Austin, who won his right to get here by beating Vince in the steel cage at St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Yeah. And we had... all know Vince won the Rumble. Yeah, because Vince had won the Rumble. And then Austin, because Austin wasn't going to win three in a row. Events, but this had been going. I mean, this this feud, be, this feud, April, be, the year before, well, yeah. Well, be, yeah. Besides their IC feud, right? Because they had an IC feud before in ninety seven. Um, yeah, this whole thing with the tournament at Survivor Series, the, it was the title was vacant. The Rock gets it. Rock becomes part of the corporation. You know, Stone Cold gets fired. Comes back. He gets fired, right? And then he gets fired, and then he comes back right back. Yeah, th- that was that was actually it, it was legit too because it, um, they had just re-signed his contract he, the night no. that he, get, well, he he didn't had, actually get he didn't actually get fired. No, he didn't get fired. But, um, <laughs> there was there was yeah. a contract extension yeah. done at that time. That was around that time. Yeah. So, but it's no, they weren't going, were, were going to fire him. Right, this had this this had this feud had been going on for for uh, for a while now, and he was trying. And there's also mankind in, in the middle of that too. But yeah. um, you know, we were all waiting for uh that that ultimate showdown, man, because The Rock was on his ascent. To be a megastar, and already Austin was already at. He was already a megastar at this point. Exactly. So everybody wants so, to see this. Oh psh, man! I, <clears throat> once the Rock won the title at the at Survivor Series, my thought was we're going to see him in Austin at WrestleMania. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said, but is he going to win three Rumbles? That's that was the question. They did it pretty good. And he had. Remember did. when he remember the what on the bridge? Oh yeah, when he threw the title off. Yeah, yeah. He got the best of him, and I was surprised that the Rock actually got the best of him. Remember, he gives him the finger. You can go to hell, right? And he hits him. Yeah. And then he goes in, and then he then he throws the uh, wait, was that was that the smoking skull belt? Am I getting my timelines confused? The 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 belt being thrown over the river that was Austin relinquishing the Intercontinental title to okay. the Rock. All right, that was. I don't, he I'm said this whole in, thing, an, like, in an interview yeah, yeah. he he said that he want he was going on to bigger and better things, which was the WWE title. So after DX in your house, when Austin beat Rock, he took the next night he took the title he threw it in the river. And said, Rock, if you want the title, go and get it. Because uh, Vince had said that he is re- relinquishing the title to The Rock. Right, but I'm talking about The Rock. When The Rock. Oh, that was the Smoking Skull. Belt. It was the, so this was it was after. 
Yeah. It was after he, this he gets the best of them, right? Yeah, he repaid yeah, him for yeah. that. I don't know. It's been so many years since I've seen it. And then him. Backlash was supposed to be for the Smoking yeah, Gun Skull yeah. Belt okay, because okay, they still okay, had okay. it in their possession. Okay, all right, all right. So Vince comes down. He thinks he's going to be the referee. He gets in the ring. All of a sudden, <laughs> we hear the music we've been dying to hear for one year. Shawn Michaels comes down. And I love how he said, it couldn't be WrestleMania without the heartbreak kid. So I lo- he's playing the commissioner role, and I love this part. He goes, Vince, you have got to read the manual. It, it, it states that only one person can authorize a referee for this match, and it's not you. It, and I love it. It's the heartbreak yeah. kid. So he's like, now your boy is a bard from ringside. Well, he goes, well, I'll let you come down. But if I see any one of them come down, I'm going to kick their scrawny asses up and down the arena. And you and I are going to have it out in the back. I was like, oh, man, this, really is, cool is this, is this him coming back? I wish it was, but it wasn't. Yeah, unfortunately, his back, his back was still messed up. But Unfortunately, yeah. So um, they bring the referee down, which, which is um, – who was Mike it? Yoda? Was it Mike Yoda? It's Mike Yoda to start, yes, because they went through several referees. So here comes The Rock. Here comes Austin. Austin's trying to do his posing. Rock's getting in his way. Austin with no vest. And the shirt. That shocked me. The, supposedly, he was supposed to get a new vest made, and I don't know, it didn't get there in time, so he just came out with the shirt. Yeah, that 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 yeah. that was weird to me. Probably just like, he was probably just like Rock wearing that, um, that uh, cutover at the Royal Rumble, but he said that he had a uh, scar that he didn't want to be shown. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Austin coming out in a shirt was really weird. But here we go. They started their and over. and no The Rock match. came out first. Yeah, I didn't understand that either. That I didn't understand. He should have come out last. Yeah, you know, Austin. No respect. A, no respect for the champ. Austin was a mega baby face. So. Yeah, he was. But still, give The Rock his credit. Come on. No, I agree. But there, there was one segment during this match. Remember, they were fighting down the rampway by the lighting fixture, and he flipped them over, and he hit his knee good on mm-hmm. that light. Yeah. And I thought, oh, man, I hope he didn't blow that knee out because he was selling it. It might have hurt for a minute, but, I mean, he hit that thing good. And just like a typical WrestleMania main event match, at least in the Attitude Era, Mike Chioda gets knocked out, of course. And then – um Tim White now is the referee. He comes out. Then he gets rock bottomed. So now here comes Earl Hebner. Well, he got rock bottomed. He rock bottomed them because uh, Austin kicked out of – was this the Austin kicked out of the rock bottom? Yeah, and he got yeah. pissed off at the referee. Right, so, so then he rock bottoms. So he him. rock bottoms Tim. That was Tim hilarious. White, man. He was getting his that ass was hilarious, in 99. Yeah. So Vince comes back out. He distracts Austin. Austin now takes out the referee. Because, well, remember, Shawn Michaels said, you can come down. All of a sudden, now here comes Mankind. You know, I, I, off the stretcher, I'm fine. Which with the referee thing. shirt, with the referee shirt on. Well, I think that's what he fought in too. That's, oh, that's, that's right, weird. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. <laughs> that was his attire at the time because yeah. he was trying to be the court. He was trying to be corporation. That's right, that's right. And um, so he comes into the ring, and all of a sudden we mm-hmm. get exactly what we got a year before when Sean went for the super kick. Austin blocks it, tries to go for the stun of the block. In this case, it was rock bottom block, stun block, nailed it. Mankind counts to three. Austin once again is the WWE champion. Everybody, go, everybody, great goes happy. friggin' match. Yeah, no, it was. I mean, great build up, great match. I mean, the pay per view was okay. I didn't think that this was like a great. No, it was. It wasn't a rock solid pay per view. It was the main but, event. But the main event, the main event was like the the big big. I would solid. say the the last three matches, including the Triple H match, were good. Well, that's yeah, the, the, that was a good match. You're right about that. You're right about that. Just uh, but this was you know the main event that that this the huge selling point um. You know, was obviously Rock and Austin, and Austin wins the title. Everyone goes home happy. I was a Rock fan, so I was rooting for the Rock, even though he was a heel. I, I was uh, rooting for both of them. I didn't care who yeah. won, but I knew I knew deep down Austin was going to win. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I knew. I I didn't have yeah. any doubt in my mind the way the story was going was that he was going to win. And then this is the second straight year where we had a great WrestleMania main event, and I'll always defend the WrestleMania 14 event because Shawn Michaels did what probably nobody else would do in as much pain as he was in, came into that match, came off as Mr. WrestleMania and left it all out there and got, got Austin to the title. Of course, he was pissed off afterwards. Well, Undertaker was, also gonna, the press Undertaker was also, gonna, also gonna beat his ass if he didn't put Austin over. So there's that. Yeah, well, I don't blame him. So. But um it's the shame, the shame going forward is that the following year Austin is uh, out because he's hurt. Yeah, and taker. Because I think I think we would have had I think we would have had Austin again versus uh I think it would have been Austin Rock. Tri- Triple H. I think it would have been Triple H in my not, not sure. they were feuding. Or 
I think it still would have been Triple H Rock. It might have. It might have. Austin would have been involved. I have no. It doubt would have been something. That. It could have even been a triple threat yeah, match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, but unfortunately, you know, then WrestleMania 2000 is a stink fest. But we would. We, we yeah, would because no Phenom, no Austin. Uh, it was and yeah. a bunch of tag matches yeah, that we'll, we didn't need. We'll we'll be covering that for you guys. Yes, we All will. All right, you guys, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys soon. Take care.